Hi and welcome to another face paint forum shop tutorial. I'm your artist rep Elizabeth Gale and today I'm going to show you how to paint a pretty princess design. So I'm starting with this superstar colour which is called Almond and a number 8 uh, flat filbert brush. I'm just going to map out the face shape which is the sort of oval, a roundy oval shape. And it's difficult to see on the camera, but um, you could just skip this step and use your own skin, but I find it easier just to map out roughly where the shape of the face is going to go and the shoulders and the arms that come down. And now I'm using a half inch angle brush and a one stroke from DFX, which is called Iris. It's a nice purpley colours and this princess is going to be in the theme of Rapunzel. So this is going to be the part of her purpley dress. And so you want to create like a U shape, like a scoop shape, which is going to make up her bodice part of the dress. And then the same, but slightly, really small, much smaller for the arms, which are going to be her long arm gloves. And just fill in the bottom there. Don't worry too much about the bottom because it's going to get covered up. And so using the same brush again, I'm loading up another one straight from DFX, uh, which is going to be, which is going to form her hair. Uh, this one's called Frangie, Fran, Frangie, Franny, Franny, Frangie, Franny. How do you say it? I don't know. That's what it's called. Anyway, so you want to scoop round over the top of the head and round for the fringe part of her hairdo. And it's going to stop at her shoulder on the right hand side. And then she has like a, like a side parting, so same on the other side. And it stops again at her shoulder and then press down with your brush and drag it right round underneath where you've done the dress part to cover up that bottom bit. And scoop round to the bottom. There you go, I'll show you a bit better. And next I'm going to create some flower petals. So I'm loading up a number six petal brush, flat petal brush, in some DFX white, and then just the tiny end dipped into some snow petrol from Superstar. And you can see it's only the tiniest bit on the end. And these are going to be placed on the top of her head, so just three petals at the top. So um, the other side. And then a flower on her shoulder where, I, where her hair meets her shoulder. And then they're going to fill the gap where the, the right hand glove meets the hair all the way down and try to make them curve round with the hair and they can get smaller towards the bottom as well. And next with a number two local nail brush and some black DFX, going to go ahead and outline all of the princess. So always remembering to try and keep your lines thin to thick to thin, even with a small brush it looks better. So you start on the thin and then push down and then thin at the end. And so I was thinking about different designs for after, you know, after COVID and maybe we won't be able to paint so much on the face anymore. Um, and one of the most popular, you know, designs that I have to paint um, on children are princess crowns and princesses. So I was thinking, oh, if I don't paint it on the face, then maybe I can do some arm paints. And I love to paint on arms anyway. So if I get asked for a princess, this is a quick and easy uh, princess design. And you can make this so much quicker. I mean, you don't have to outline any of it. You could just put the eyes on, which I'm going to do in a minute. And just a few details, a few other details as well. And here I'm just mapping out where I'm going to put the eyes. So I always put little markers where 
to make sure that they're in the right place. It's always easier to have your paint slightly um, runnier for the eyes so you can get nice round shapes. And remember to make the eyes quite big because it always looks... Little characters and creatures always look better if they've got bigger eyes. Look, it makes them look cute. So I'm just doing a tiny thin line around the edge. And that's going to be where the whites of her eyes will go. And some tiny little eyelashes, but only tiny little flicks up. And a little happy little mouth. And so next I'm loading up the same number two brush in some, uh, it's a mix of Superstar, Teal and Snow Petrol. And just flicking out some little veins on the flowers. Just to give them a bit more depth and make them a bit more interesting. And then we're going to give her some green eyes. So these are, this is, um, Peacock Shimmer, I believe, by Superstar. And just a little, tiny little bit of green just on the inside of the eye. And she's going to have some little rosy pink cheeks as well. And this is Rose Gold from Superstar. And then loading up some DFX White. Going to just put some little highlights in her hair just to make it pop a bit more but again if you wanted to make it quicker you could leave this step off as well and just the highlights on her dress and then and then loading up with a little bit more DFX white. I'm just going to do the the gaps on the eyes where I left a little space on the right and the left to make the whites of her eyes. And then loading up a bit so that the paint's a bit more wetter so I can do little round dots and you just press down on each, on the black part of the eyes that you've made. And then some more dots just in the middle of the flowers. And so with my number two brush again, <laughs> I'm going to load up with some Superstar, uh, which is a Lavender Shimmer, this is called. And I'm just going to do some swirly lines coming around that follow the hairline. You just start off with a long swirl. and then some teardrops up and around, which help to create the flow round of her hair. And then three at the bottom. No, no, five at the bottom even. <laughs> and then some just curling round from the, from the petals on the side. and then follow it up so that the swirl kind of connects around at the top as well, so if it's all sort of swirling around through her dress and round. And then a few more little dots just in the gaps between where the line work starts and where the design finishes. And the last step is the glitter. So I love this purpley iridescent glitter which goes perfect for Rapunzel and goes with the line work really well, line work colour. And just paint that on all around the edges. And you can use this design to do any of the princesses, just change up the hair colour and the dress colour and line work and also the glitter. And this is my version of Belle in the same design format. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out Face Paint Forum Shop for all your supplies.